What's going on, guys? Good morning. It is the 25th of May, 5.52 in the morning, taking a look this morning at a Casper cryptocurrency daily chart. So not too much going on here with this thing in the past basically two weeks or so. Um, we're starting to get a little bit of movement today and yesterday. wanted to do a quick recap on Casper, kind of what I see here um, moving forward. Sometimes in these markets, you just got to have patience. It's not always trending. So we are trading at 378 right now, according to this data here on the TradingView platform. So we obviously, along with a lot of the other markets, stock market, cryptocurrency markets, put in a bottom over on the 12th of May. So far, that is the bottom. Will it hold? Time will tell. We're going to go through that in a moment here. And basically, ever since then, a slight upward move, nothing crazy, and sideways starting to get a little break to the downside. Um, but I want to show you something that I think could be playing out here. So you can see that we are starting to inch lower here um, as of today and yesterday, down 2.5 today percent. But I want to show you something that could be playing out here. And we're going to take a zoom, zoom in and a, a look back here at let me go right there. So you can see back in here in July, the, the middle of July, we had a large move down in Casper. Then we had a follow move, a reaction back to the upside, and then basically traded down to sideways for basically till the middle of August. So about a month there of choppy um, sideways to up to pulling back um, movement for Casper. But what came in as this price pulled back here is a higher low. And that was a big indicator that this low is going to hold and we should expect a break above this high. And we did we did get that, and it only took two days to get a massive move to the upside. So why do I bring this up? Well, we're gonna zoom back and show you, I wonder if I can get this to look a little bit different here, I guess not. Um, kind of what we're looking like right now in um, on the Casper chart. So let's take a zoom back over to current times. So similar to back in July, large move down, very large move down actually. Reaction move back to the upside. And now we are trading basically sideways to slightly lower. So the the question is, and kind of what we're looking for here, as like I said, we think the markets are in a bottoming process right now. They don't always V bottom. Sometimes they chop around, sometimes they double bottom before they take off. But if you look at the S&P, it looks like it is trying to find a bottom in and around where it's currently at. So as the price pulls back here, Will it print a higher low somewhere in here? So we have the low on the 12th. So far, that is the low. Doesn't mean it's going to hold, it, hold though. We are looking for that higher low to come in. And that's, that's what I think is going to happen because um, going over to the stock market, I think it's in a bottoming um, process right now. And that will carry over to the crypto markets as well. Now, if the lows get undercut, it could be a shakeout, could be further downside. Um, but right now, that is the low. So the next step is looking for that higher low somewhere, somewhere within this range. I mean, it could be a little higher, could be a little lower, but somewhere in here, 
a higher low. Just don't want to undercut that low on the 12th. And then that move that follows that is that move that we saw back in July can be a very, very strong move back to the upside. So just keep that in the back of your mind that that could be playing out here. Um, these markets will wear you down, whether it's in price or in time. And we're definitely looks like we had the price move so far. And now we're in that time factor. So who long, how long does this go? We will see. The old saying is sell in May and go away. Um, not always true. Will it be true this year? Time will tell. But um, if the markets are in a bottoming process right now, then we should be setting up for a pretty big rally into summer. So that will um, probably not be true this time around. So we got the big move to the downside, the reaction, and we are looking for a higher low to be printed somewhere in here. And then what the follows with the general market rally that we think is coming here um, will be much higher prices here for Casper, unless it takes on its own path and doesn't follow what the other markets are doing. But back in here, here we go. Big sell-off, reaction, sideways to down, printed a higher low. That low was higher than this low. And then you could see massive break to the upside. Had a back test here, tested this high, react back up. And then here was a top double top off of this high over here. And then lower prices ever since. So keep your eyes on somewhere for in here, a higher low to be printed. And then that move that could take place, that reaction move, break above this high could be very, very strong. So unfortunately, got to have some patience here. If you are bullish on this project, at least you're getting great prices at these levels. So that's pretty much going to wrap it up for this video. Not too much going on with Casper. Um, I did notice that this could be playing out within the days ahead, that we could be getting a higher low here. I mean, that higher low could come in today. It could come in next week. It could be tonight who knows when um the key is to not undercut this low if we do undercut this low you could get um it could be a shakeout it could also just mean further prices real quick before we end this video over in here we had a low on whatever date that was the 26th of september and then we actually came back and tested that low over here on the 22nd of january had a small reaction to the upside and then eventually that failed. So, I mean, that could take place as well. You could get a little undercut of that low, slight reaction, and then lower prices. It could also work the other way. Sometimes you'll get a double bottom. It'll test that low. Let's see here. Say we fade down, it'll test that low, maybe a slight undercut. And then sometimes that will be the start of a new rally to the upside. Stock market's done that in the past. Um, also something to keep an eye on. But if you're looking for a similar move to back in here, where you put in a low reaction, that higher low um, gets everybody bearish again. And then you can see what, what can take place sometimes is a huge move back to the upside. So that's kind of what I'm looking for here for Casper. Let me know your thoughts down in the video comments. It's been a while since I put out a Casper video, but like I said, if you look at the charts, really not too much going on here. Um, but we're starting to get a move, so I wanted to throw a video out here. All right, guys, if you have not yet subscribed to the channel, go ahead and consider doing so. Hit the like button, share with your trader buddies, and let me know your thoughts in the comments. All right, take care.